And what do you recollect of the accident? Um, the best I can recollect at the time is uh, I was stopped at the, a red light waiting for it to turn green. Um, and I didn't see it coming. Uh, he hit me from behind. Um, it was uh, pretty, pretty, pretty tough, the accident. In terms of recovery, just, I mean, it was late in the morning. Question is, that any explanation for your, you know, being out that late? I was out with friends. The accident itself was, you know, um, I don't know if you've ever been hit by a car going 60 miles an hour. Um, my car was completely uh, totaled. Um, but my thoughts and prayers, let me just say, are with uh, go to uh, the passenger of the other vehicle. And I've been trying to check on his health uh, at Beth Israel. It appears as if he's going to be fine. But um, I don't know if you've seen somebody who was a passenger who didn't have a seatbelt. Uh, when I walked over to the car, uh, it's, not some, it's not something I'd recommend anybody to see. You know, it's very, very, uh, very tough. Sure. At the scene, um, there's reports that the state police weren't um, permitted to interview the driver of the vehicle that hit you until um, Governor Patrick was granted permission. Do you know anything about that? You know, um, I went over to the gentleman. I asked him if he was okay. Mm -hmm. uh, he looked as, as, as scared and confused as anybody I've ever seen. Sure. Um, and I went over to the vehicle where the passenger was in the vehicle, mm -hmm. and I tried to talk to him, and he was uh, screaming in pain. Mm -hmm. There was blood. Um, the EMTs arrived on the scene. Uh, they immediately took that gentleman to the Beth Israel. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there were two plainclothes Boston cops, one uh, uniform Boston cops, cops, and three state troopers. Um, they handled the scene perfectly. I mean, they, I had an eyewitness who was uh, a former police officer who was driving a taxi cab who saw the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, and, he, and he, I know, gave a very in-depth uh, report of what happened to the to the state police at the time. Okay, have you heard anything, obviously, in the, in the media after this has occurred, in terms of the driver's reaction? You have any comments about that? You know, I've I've heard uh, and I've read some of the stuff. Mm -hmm. I can honestly tell you, uh, I, I I did not hear him saying that. Mm -hmm. uh, he he was in mariachi pants. He wasn't in a mariachi outfit. Um, he was uh, he was. So scared, I can't imagine he said anything. Because <laughs> uh, I went over and tried to talk to him, and he just looked at me. And just the fear in his eyes was was quite something. I think it, it, that partially came from the fact that he um, knew he didn't have a license. Mm -hmm. He knew he had been drinking, mm -hmm. um, and uh, he was just afraid. Sure. Do you, um, in terms of punishment for him, what are you, what are you, not to say hopes, but what are your expectations or desires? Well, there were laws in the books. Mm -hmm. There was no doubt uh, the gentleman was drinking and driving. Uh, drinker, people that drink and drive happen, whether they're immigrants or not immigrants. Mm -hmm. um, and he should be punished to the extent that the law allows for somebody who was operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol. Sure. Does this change in any way your opinion on legal immigration laws? Obviously, recent vote here. I know. <laughs> I know this is, uh, is, is a tough issue. Uh, that we're dealing with. Um, and as you probably know, I, am, I have been and will continue to be pro-immigrant, and in some cases even pro-illegal pro immigrant. Mm -hmm. um, it would be politically expedient for me at this point in time to change that. That should give you some indication of my commitment to immigration and, and immigrants to tell you that even after being hit by one, um, I will continue to advocate for immigrants and, and rights, their rights as, as citizens of this country. And your belief in that is strong, and, and what is that founded in? And that's the last question. My, well, it's founded in the fact that my parents came here from another country. Mm -hmm. And I'm a first generation Irishman. Um, they came here for the same reason these people come here. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I feel for them. So I'm, I, really, I really believe that, that you know, um, there, is, there is an issue here to immigration, mm -hmm. and the issue is we need to do something nationally. We need to provide pathways to citizenships for people. Mm -hmm. um, we need to give people the ability to become a legal citizen and not keep them here living in, you know, a third-class citizen state. Let them let them become citizens, provided they provide, you know, follow the law. Mm -hmm. um, that's not easy to say after you've been in an accident like I've been in, but you know, it's it's important for me. Okay.